more massive news in baseball, folks, as we have another huge free agent signing. As the Rangers, again, making moves like they did with Simeon, signed Corey Seager to a 10-year, $325 million deal. They now officially have the best middle infield in the game. They're going to have Simeon and Seager up the middle. Absolutely crazy group in the middle infield. Seager pounded the ball this year. He was hurt for a little bit, but he absolutely raked. 90th percentile expected slugging. 96th percentile expected batting average. 94th percentile expected weighted on base. 95th percentile max exit velocity. 80th percentile average exit velocity. And at 89th percentile hard hit rate. His only problem was how high that or how bad that whiff rate was as it was 26 percentile and he was a clunker in the field at 6th percentile and outs above average he absolutely smashes the ball around the yard though this year off the sinker and four seamer combined he had a 21 run value at the plate absolutely amazing great work Corey Seager the Dodgers really have lost a lot today as they also lost Scherzer. Huge news, though, as the Rangers have made one of the big blockbuster deals this offseason with this massive Corey Seager signing. Let's check out his defensive metrics. Unfortunately, they were not that solid at a negative six outs above average. Not as bad as I thought they were based on the original outs above average percentile. He really, all against lefties playing defense, he was basically average. Against righties, he struggled a little bit. When he was infield in, he struggled. On the lateral plays toward third and first base, he was not very great. But on the pop-ups behind him, he was actually pretty solid. This move was an amazing move by the Rangers. I did not realize the Rangers were contenders. I was like, why are you signing Simeon? I don't think you guys are going to contend. But now they have the best middle infield in baseball with the guys like Isaiah kiner falefa And they also signed pitcher John Gray. The Mariners absolutely splurged this offseason. Somebody's going to have to get an interview with their owner about how willing he was to spend money this year. I think the Rangers ball club likes winning. A few years ago, they were like consistent contenders, and I think they want to get back to that. One of the reasons they were because they had two solid star infielders. <laughs> That's what they got now. They It used to be Adrian Beltre and Elvis Andrews, but now it's Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon that they have for the, both of them for the next seven years and Seager for the next ten. Thank you for watching this big blockbuster deal video. Please be sure to go to our playlist with all of our free agent videos and check them all out. Be sure to subscribe. We're on a road to 200 by the end of December and like up the video. Thank you for watching.